Now, hi guys, welcome to another episode of Techly Things. Now, in today's program, we'll be driving through the lower income communities of Grand Cayman. To be specific, we'll be driving through the communities of Georgetown. Now, I w if you're new to the channel, just implore you guys to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so that you get the latest videos. You can also like this video and comment. Now we're gonna kick things off by driving through the Rock Hall area, Macfield Square, or and School Road. Now I am just by Macfield Square and I'm taking my left and I am on School Road. And School Road is one of the, the lower income communities of Georgetown. see the the quality of the houses and the area and this runs straight down to uh, we make a turn and we'll go on to Rockhall Road and this is in the central part of Georgetown and Georgetown is uh, our Cayman itself is not a large area the communities are closely intertwined so you don't need to go far to reach the other community so I'm gonna make the right turn here this right turn will take me to Rock Hall. So basically I'm on Rock Hall. As I come up to that junction, we'll be on the left. Yeah, that junction, the left will take me to a place called Cruise Lane and on the opposite side is Dayas Lane. It's also one of the low income uh, community, but I'll not proceed to that part. I'm just continuing on the straight. So I'm in Rockhall area now. And for some reason it looks like I'm going fast, but actually I'm not. Because this is like a 15 miles per hour area. And as you can see there, <coughs> excuse me, the rain, <coughs> excuse me again. As you can see the rain has recently fallen because of the wetness of the road surface. I don't want to splash anyone. So you see abandoned vehicles are broken down. So I'm gonna take a right here. The left will take me to Grescott Lane and that's a very very small lane. I need not go down there. And as I said before, the communities are small. So I've completed the tour of the Macfield Square, School Road, Rock Hall, Grescott Lane area. Now my next journey will take me to Martin Drive. So I'm gonna take a left here and this lift will take me on to Eastern Avenue where I go on to Shedden Road. And that's to my left is called the Annexed Field. There's a football field and the Georgetown Primary School is also on that side. There's a restaurant to the left. There's a, a plaza over ahead of me there. So I, I am on Eastern Avenue and I'm approaching the traffic light. And this traffic light here, I'm gonna take the right. And this is the, the road I'm turning on, it's called Shedden Road. 
I approach Shedden Road, I'm going to take a left now. And the left will, and that's Raila's car wash to the left there as well. And that's Funky Tank to the right, the building. So this left takes me to Martin Drive. So I am going down to, to Martin Drive here. And this is another of the low income community. Lots of vehicles there. Parking is a big issue in these communities. Uh, there are no adequate space of parking there. Yeah, these are the houses in Martin Drive. And just to let you know, I will not be coming out of the vehicles to to show you the the, the area. I might do that in another video, but not this one. So as you see the houses there nice mango tree and as I see when it rains there's a flooding and there was not a lot of rain but because of the area the drainage system is not I would say all that great so water will take up the road and sometimes the the sidewalk area so that was just in Martin Drive there it's not a large community so I'm heading out maybe though it's a low-income community you will find some very expensive vehicles in there at times And one of the most common vehicles you're finding in, in Grand Cayman at this point is the Honda Fit. They are very, very common in the area. Alright, so I am making my way out again and I am going back onto Shen Road. And I'll go towards Whitman Seymour Drive or Soundway. So I'm on Shen Road back. It's the other side of Martin Drive. So I'm going to take the right here. As I go down, the, the junction with the left to the left here is called Mary Street. As I as I made that maneuver when it comes. So the light hits me and green. Now I'm approaching and to the left there is reflection. Liquor for less. And this is the left that I'm turning. And here is sound way. Another of the low income communities. It's a one way going going to that side. It's very narrow. You see the houses to the left and to the right. See a man riding his his pedal cycle there. So as I reach the junction to the right, I'm going to make the right turn just to go down in Whitman Seymour Drive. So yeah, I make the right turn. And just to see uh, um, the place is still is wet because the rain falls was uh, falling earlier. 
this is the community of Whitman Seymour. There's a housing development here and it's a rented house apartments. I'm gonna make the turn around here. I'm gonna make my way out again. So this is Whitman Seymour. So as I reach up again, I'm gonna make the right turn, which will take me back on Soundway. So as I make my way up, you'll see to the to the right, it's a restaurant called. Welly's school spot to the left of the screen is L. Thompson. I'll tell you about Welly's. Welly's is a hangout place. There's a restaurant, a bar, cook very good Caribbean food. Always keeps uh, sessions and so on. It's a good hangout spot. To the left is uh, L. Thompson, and L. Thompson is a hardware and department store. Very huge. So I'm going to take the left onto North South Road. Now I've switched screen, I'm back. Now I'm on Eastern Avenue. So I'm going to make a right turn now, and this will take me to bring to drive. And this area is called, the entire area is called Swamp. It's the it's the earliest name for the community and reason being it's, uh, it's built in swamp and most of Cayman is really built in swamp but this area is sort of always covered in, wa covered in water because of the area that it's built on. down I'm gonna make a turn I'm gonna make a left turn and this left turn it's coming up about now but not now and as I say the area it's uh, covered by water there I'm gonna make the, the I said left left turn this is on Kennedy Drive and I'll just see the how the community looks there's a lot of Derelic vehicles, abandoned, broken down, drivable vehicles. And that's how it is in that part of the community. There's also a prospective house building up here, our apartments. Most of these communities that have driven in, in, in its apartment houses, they are built to accommodate people that are for rent you know, there are a lot of work on this island here so people have to find places to live and rent so these communities are there are a lot of rented houses and the rent in Cayman is really not that cheap so a lot of the times people would have to really come around these communities to find houses and, and I'm talking about people like for the middle income earners to the low income earners these are the communities that they come and ma manage to be able to afford rent so that they can stuff some money aside and send some for their families home and even persons from the island that cannot afford uh, the middle to the high income rent. This is, these are the places that they do come to. So making the next left turn again here. Show you the, the area.
said before, it's not a lot of rain that uh, fall, fell earlier today. But when it do rains, then the community feels a lot of it, especially this community. Judging from these communities and the vehicles that you see there, you would not think it's a community of low-income people because they really go hard, uh, hollow to secure expensive or high-class vehicles. So that's up the end there. I'm going to make a right turn. I'm just going to circle the the area and come out see a derelict vehicle there and that's normally with the derelict vehicles and derelict vehicles are vehicles that are left abandoned for an extended period of time and what the department of environmental health uh, does with these vehicles first they put stamps on them or, or stickers and as you see a lot of them to the side of the road here they will put stickers on them sometimes it's red sometimes it's yellow and I think the red ones are the ones that will are the, 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 the ones that are closer to being taken up so they will put stickers on them and take them up in a period of time I'm not so sure of the time but they, they remove them from the road they what happens is that they have certain criteria that are met before they remove them. Vehicles have to be punctured or deflated, not inspected, not licensed. You know, have to build, have to look upon and are worn down. So that's how they do it. And there are a lot of them in this community. See, I'm making my way out now, and this is the area of swamp. No, my I'm gonna take the left here and I'm gonna go towards Watler's Drive. Now, Watler's Drive it would be my last of the tour of the lower income communities or neighborhoods in Georgetown. So the road I'm taking will take me out back to Eastern Avenue. And Eastern Avenue is a very large area in Georgetown. It takes all the way from Shedden Road and carries right onto West Bay Road, which is relatively a good stretch. So I am on Eastern Avenue. I'm going to take the right now. So I'm coming up to Watlers Road. This is the end of Eastern Avenue. The West Bay Road would be right down there at the traffic light. So I'm taking the right now and I'm Watlers Road, which is my last stop. So as you see again, there's a water in the road. And as I say, it's one of the lower income communities of Georgetown or of Grand Cremand. A lot of speed bumps there so ensure that persons don't drive too fast because there are kids that live in this community here and most of the communities where the speed bumps are and you can see vehicles on the both sides of the road here. And you also see vehicles, derelict vehicles, as I would say again. 
is a mechanic to the left there sorting out his his unit BMW X5 Toyota Boxy uh, so the road is wet as usual so um, not going down to the end of what was drive there I'm gonna make a, a right turn here there are some Mercedes Benz and that's a Nissan Fuga Toyota and uh, Honda Accord as well yeah, I'm making my way out now and this will take me to West Bay Road. You can also check out my other videos with driving through the high income, the high income earners community. So this is my way out. There's a uh, road is has some potholes in it some water so you have to ensure that you drive carefully or else you might fall in a pothole and cause some damage to your vehicle i'm following the driver that is ahead of me because if he didn't damage his vehicle i won't because i'm driving exactly where we drive Right, so I'm heading out and this road will take me to West Bay Road. So as I leave the communities, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can leave a comment or you can share and like the video. And I do enjoy taking it to you as much as you enjoy watching it. And there's Captain Baker's to the right there. That's a Jamaican restaurant and a bakery. So as I was saying, I'm going to leave now guys and I do hope you enjoy the video and I look forward to you watching more of the videos and from Techly Things, I do say peace out. Love you guys.